hello friends in this video i am going to explain actuator locking using pilot check walls in many industrial application if you observe that it is necessary to lock the cylinder so that its piston cannot be moved due to an external force acting on the piston rod the actuator is only actuated because of the only direction control wall not because of the some external force so one method for the locking a cylinder in this fashion is by using pilot check walls. The application of the actuator locking is shown in figure. It consists of uh, pilot operated check wall which are connected to the inline and outline of the actuator. The cylinder can be extended or retracted as normally done by the action of direction control wall only. If here I use the regular check walls, the cylinder could not be extended or retracted by the action of direction control wall. So here pilot operated check walls are used. When first position is actuated, the fluid is passing from pump to the direction control wall first position and the, because of pilot pressure check walls get open and fluid is passing to the blank side of the cylinder so the cylinder get extended. An external force acting on the piston rod will not move the piston in either direction because reverse flow through either pilot check wall is not permitted under this condition. Again for the retraction purpose, I need to actuate third position so that fluid is passing from pump to the rod side end of the cylinder. Check walls get open because of pilot pressure and fluid is returned to the reservoir from the blank end of the cylinder. Thank you for watching this video.